Today we're talking about dreams and communicating with spirits through them. Alright guys, the reason that we're having this topic is because I had a client recently ask me uh, about her dreams and that she was communicating with certain uh, dead relatives in her dreams and she didn't, she just wanted some answers about communicating with deceased loved ones through dreams. So I decided to make a video about this. Um, mind you, I'm not the end all on the subject. I just wanted to make a video about my experiences and maybe those experiences will help you guys out if this were to ever happen. Now, uh, when it comes to my experiences, I, uh, about five years ago, lost my father to colon cancer. And soon after he died, um, I started having um, dreams with him in it. Um, at first I thought um, that it was just, you know, me mourning my father and, you know, he was on my mind. But then I started noticing that some of the dreams, not all of them, but some of them, he was not necessarily, in a way, not part of the dream. He was almost as if he didn't belong in the dream. Um, put one in, one example in particular, I was having a dream that I was having dinner with my mother at our home and my father was sitting at our table. But my mother at no point acknowledged my father. And there were other things going on in the dream, but my father was not acknowledged. Even though he was sitting at the dinner table, not eating, um, didn't have a plate on his food, he just sat on one of the corners. And I, I turn to him and I go, Dad, what are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to be here. You're, 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 you're dead. And somehow in the dream I knew that because of the fact that my mom wasn't acknowledging him, that he didn't have a, the table wasn't set for him. You know, he didn't have a plate on the table for himself. Um, at that point, I, I, I sort of, I guess I, I knew that it, who, you know, like what, that it wasn't my dream, it was that it was really him. And I go, what are you doing here? You know, you, you, you're dead, you, you shouldn't be here. And he looks at me and says, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. I'm just here to look out for you guys and whatever you do. And that's when he goes, he puts his finger up here, looks at my mother, just goes, Meaning don't tell your mother because my mom would just not understand my dream and she wouldn't take it factual. She would probably, knowing her, she doesn't believe in all that stuff. So, um, and, and I, strangely enough, that was one of the very last dreams that I had with my father as of. And I think the reason was because he had just, like, instead of me having dreams after dream after dream with him in it, um, at that point, I was more relieved because when I woke up, I was like, okay, so he's okay. And he's just looking out for us. So he's still around. Every once in a while, I'm pretty sure he like, you know, I, and I sometimes do smell his cologne. And my mom has actually felt him like physically touch her. So I was very like, okay, this is, you know, it's okay. He's there. He's protecting us, uh, looking out for us. Um, trying to keep my mom and myself sane, I suppose. <laughs> um, and that was, that was very comforting for me. Um, and that's my experience with my father. My grandmother, on the other hand, um, my grandmother was much sadder. And I didn't know why. I found out later on why, which I will not mention because it's kind of personal related to my mother. But I remember having dreams with my grandmother, similar dreams with my grandmother, where my mom or the people around us didn't notice her. And I didn't even notice her. I didn't even know who she was. I was just like, well, why is this lady here? Mind you, I, don't, I never met my grandmother. I have like one photo of her and that's it. That I've seen that's my mom's photo of her and that's it. Like it's, and it's tiny, it's about yay small. So it's not like if I have a broad, um, visual of how she looks like um so in the dream i would be like telling my my i, I would you know 
it wouldn't she would she would just be there every once in a while and one day I'm I'm talking to my mother in the dream and you know my grandmother's right next to her not knowing that it's my grandmother for sure for sure it's just a lady that looks like her from the picture so I don't really think it's my grandmother and in the dream my mom is telling me tell your grandmother that I still love her and I still care for her and I was like why would you want me to tell you what like I didn't I didn't I didn't get it and I look at the, the lady who is my grandmother and I look at her and that's when I realize oh wait that looks that's grandma why is she doing wait I'm very confused and grandma and my grandmother just looks at me and just goes like sadly like she's really sad and she's like going like that like sort of nodding her head which I found kind of odd but she's over my mom sort of like putting her hand on on my mom's shoulder and I'm thinking to myself well okay sure like I, I, I really didn't think anything of it and my mom's really sad and so is my grandmother they both have really sad faces um, lo and behold several years later I tell my mom about this dream and I describe my grandmother to a T so much so that I even because in the photo you don't see what my grandmother is wearing she's like from the neck up in the photo so all I see is this this is all I see I don't see what kind of clothes she's wearing I don't um, my mom doesn't really talk about my grandmother that much she just says that my grandmother suffered a lot during her her marriage to my grandfather that she wasn't a very happy woman she was very depressed and very sad so um, when I tell my mom well you know a long time ago I had a dream with grandma and this is what happened and she was very taken aback because as I'm describing her she goes did she have this and I was like yeah she had that on her body like yeah she had this and she had that and I'm like picturing other um, things that are on her and my mom is like bawling crying crazy and and I'm like well what why why are you you know and like what, what's the big deal and she goes well I never told you about this your grandmother but your grandmother used to wear that that was her outfit which was a a, a skirt and a nice shirt that's white so white that it looks almost blue that it has like a blue tinge or it's blue tint in the light because it's so just perfectly white um that it that it just that it almost lights up um and that she'd always wear something like that she would always wear like white she loved wearing white so i was like okay um also a bracelet that she had um that i never knew she had that and i just thought it was just a dream and i just put that in the dream just to make up for it and none of my family members really talk about my grandmother they kind of just don't um again long story that i will not mention because it's very personal to my mother and i don't want to go into that um but those were my dreams and now i've never had dreams with other people that are deceased that i know of now i have had dreams that i have met people that i have never met in my life and then maybe three, four months later, I end up bumping into them. But that's a different story altogether. That's a different uh, video. But just from that alone, from that experience with my, my, like seeing my relatives, my father, my grandmother, I know that for a fact that you can communicate with deceased loved ones. Um, it's not necessarily like the end. Uh, after you die um, I do see that that if you do have experiences in that nature it's always good to take advantage of it because you never know when it's gonna come again you never know when you're gonna have another dream that um, a relative wants to be part of so if you are in a dream that you think that the person that's there is for a lack of a better term of you know your father and you know, your mother or your brother sister cousin whatever or just a friend that had passed on it's always a good idea to pay attention to what they're saying whether it be verbal or showing you or just physical maybe something that they're wearing the color of what they're wearing what you're seeing around them because all of that is connected to the message that they are trying to give you 
to the message that they're trying to convey. And it's it, it will be pointless for you to ignore that. Because if you ignore that, then that's you know, that's energy that they're spending to be in your dreams to to tell you something that you need to know. Um another way would be to A offer them something. Let them know that you need to speak to them. Um, my mother, for instance, she has a little, I wouldn't say altar to my father, but she does have a picture of my dad that she gives flowers to and she does pay attention to it. You know what I mean? Like she talks to it. She talks to the photo uh, of my father only because she can't take the time um, uh, where he's buried. It's kind of far away and um, she's really old and I'm afraid of her falling down and hurting herself in the graveyard and it's not exactly the best place to get hurt and whatnot um, for her age, for her to walk around in there. <clears throat> so she normally just does that on a weekly basis and um, she still feels very connected to my father. So that's, that's a good way of, of actually communicating with a deceased loved one and letting them know, hey, you know, I need this message. Um, and be specific, be like, look, I need to know X thing. Um, and give them something for a candle, um, you know, offer them something. And then say like, you know, maybe in, you know, tell them in my dreams, visit me in my dreams, tell me something, tell me what I need to know in my dreams. That night, make sure that you remember your dreams. Uh, the best thing is to have a little uh, pen or paper next to you, or in my case, have an app on your phone. Uh, ready to go like notepad to jot that down to just talk it in you know blah 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 blah. this and this happened and so and so because after you wake up if you don't do that on a regular basis you will forget your dreams I've had dreams that I I remembered immediately when I woke up it was like a, oh my god this happened okay uh, and I have to immediately jot it down because if not Within less than an hour, it'll be like, wait, what part was it? And I think that, wait, what was that thing? Oh my God. And it would drive me insane. But every time that you have a chance, that you have something like that, write it down. Because you never know, that might be the clue that you need for something that you didn't expect. Um, and, and it really does let you know that your family does care about you even though they are no longer physically in this world. Um, and I think it, it actually helps a lot with mending hearts. And especially when it came to me, when my father died, it really helped to know that he was there. And um, to know that if he wanted to talk to me, he really could. And that made me, the mourning process was well, well eased because of that and i will always love my father for knowing for for telling me that and for being there and i'm going to end this video by asking you guys if you guys have ever had um dreams with deceased loved ones or any kind of dreams that you think that maybe like a friend or a family member that has passed on that has given you messages um tell us your story i'm really interested to find out if not um, don't forget to subscribe and every Wednesday I will be trying to put up a video uh, for Witchy Wednesdays uh, related to anything magical and mystical and if you guys have something in particular that you want me to talk about don't hesitate and leave a comment on the bottom of what you want to hear. Other than that guys, much love and blessings.